Boxing King Media in association with Boxro. As we're talking about Boxro, I'm going to have to show your limited edition Creed tracksuit that you've managed to get your hands on. Uh, is, is it worth saying that you managed to get your hands on that? Yeah, my, my man Jordan hooked me up, you know. Um, I needed the, 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 the notification. As soon as it dropped, it dropped, I picked it up. And now look, I'm here. Good man. Ezra, you're 4-0, uh, a light heavyweight. Signed to Frank Warren? Yes, signed to Frank Warren, 4-0, and looking to go 5-0 and tomorrow. Uh, just tell us a little bit about yourself, because obviously I've never met you before. I understand you're from Nottingham, you're 28, uh, you're a late bloomer in boxing. So just kind of explain to us why, why it took you to 28 to get to this moment. Um, I started when I was like 17, man. I started taking it serious when I was 17. Um, and then, yeah, started doing some amateur, the amateur circuit and then sort of finding my feet in that, finding success in that as well. Um, I wanted to go to the Olympics, it didn't go down that route. And now I'm here, man. Um, signed to Frank Warren um, by God's grace. And yeah, I'm able to show my case, my skills on a good platform. And um, hopefully uh, get to the world champion status in, in the best way possible. Good stuff, man. And how quickly are you looking to progress? Have you got plans to have like maybe five, ten fights? Or do you think you can develop, go quick? Um, you know what? I haven't really got a, a time scale on it. It just depends on when I feel ready. Because the era that we live in now, you've got boxers coming through at 20 years old, they're having four fights and they're getting potential mandatories, you know? So it just depends on how me and my team feel, the experiences I'm getting, how I perform in my fights, and then we just see what route, man. I could be, I could be end of this year, I'm looking to, you know, either challenge for a title or have one under my, under my belt. Well, talking about that, the light heavyweight division of the UK is probably one of the hottest divisions. Uh, most of the fighters are always Sky, you've got Boatsi, I've got Craig Richards, Shaq and Peters as well, there's loads. Uh, which ones do you think, you, which one of that top six, seven crop do you think you could probably challenge? You know what, I'm just going to say all of them, man, because I'm not here to single out people, you know what I'm saying? I'm trying to, I'm not here to bend my career on one boxer. I'm here to just beat whoever's in front of me, so they're all good. It's a thriving division, like you said. And, and I'm part of it, you know what I'm saying? So I'm just looking to get my experience, do what I need to do, and then, yeah, hopefully, um, I'll be in the mix sooner than later. And just a little bit about yourself, so what else do you, do you work? Have you had a job recently, and what kind of stuff have you been doing over the last, say, 10 years, other than boxing? Um, yeah, I, I, do, I do bits and bobs here and there. Sponsors help a lot. Um, but I've made the conscious decision that I want to put my all in. I put my whole life into boxing, man. Like, I sacrifice a lot, um, friends, family, um, the luxuries of life, you know, a 28 year old could be living life, but I've, I've, I've sacrificed it all, put it all to a side and just honed in on what I need to do. I'm, I'm 28, so it's been 11 years in the making. I've got six more years to dedicate my craft to this sport and um, do what I dream of doing, you know what I'm saying? So, um, yeah, in terms of work, this is my work, man. This is full time, it ain't part time. Good stuff, man. Somebody's on the phone to you. So, uh, Ezra, it's been nice meeting you for the first time and all the best uh, tomorrow night and uh, let's see what you can do. Thank you, man. I appreciate it. Gotcha.